what, the, the, this thing of the, of, the, of the world that your music inhabits, the, the thing that they have in common, as is very obvious, is that they, they are for the things that, the institutions that the Gulbenkian and I don't know, places in Los Angeles or London are very familiar with, i.e. orchestras and opera houses. Why do you still, why, why are those things so important to you as a composer still, when you could choose any of the electronic media, any of the, the different approaches to what a musical object is? Why? Why write for orchestras and opera houses in the way you do? Uh, well, uh, on, on the same program as the uh, Pastoral Symphony, um, we also have my uh, piece called In Seven Days, which is um, a, a piano concerto, which is accompanied by um, a visual uh, a video. Um, and it follows the music very closely. It's very choreographed, I would say. And again, um, when writing it, uh, I didn't see any distinction between, this may be, I don't know what it is, maybe something wrong with me, but I don't see any distinction between a visual um, unfolding of the music and one without visual. But I think, you know, it, it may be different for an audience. I mean, they can close their eyes or, or just listen or, or watch. But uh, the trick is to, to not separate the eyes and the ears um, when watching it. One should, the whole thing is a, a, an entire experience. I mean, I worry about, I wouldn't probably write that much for, for electronic instruments because I worry about them not working. Just wanted to make a question. You quoted a lot of composers that had influence on your music. And uh, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about Britain's music? Oh. Well, Britain, I, I, of course, know it from a very young age, and, I, uh, and um, uh, I, I actually particularly love um, a lot of the instrumental music, uh, uh, like the violin concerto, I think is simply wonderful, and uh, also Ceremony of Carols and the Missa Brevis. Um, I was never uh, that attracted to the operas simply because um, well, I mean, I was. That's not. I, I must be honest. Actually, I did used to listen to them uh, a lot and found them completely fascinating. But uh, I think it got slightly spoilt for me shortly afterwards by the discovery of, of Berg and Janacek and other things. And I, I, I simply found it hard to go back because I, not not because of quality, but because somehow the English um, words or something were started to put me off, which is ter you know. Um, I don't know what it was. It, it's, it was just strange. Um, so I'm sure I will go back to them. But you don't soon. have a problem with English words yourself in the Tempest and Pad of Her Face, which are, after all, I in English. No, I, I, I hope not. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's something about the way that they sing in them. Not in Britain, obviously. Yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I think about it. Any more? Uh, when you get a piece that's commissioned, um, how does it work? You already have ideas in the back of your mind, just go and fish them out and just apply to whatever is commissioned, or you actually, the creative process just starts from scratch and you just start yeah. doing whatever I has I been asked think to do. I think, I mean, if it's, for example, an, an opera, uh, someone will just say, you, you, I have to wait till the subject to come to my head, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, as a gem. Uh, um, and uh, anything else, it's more, it, it's more a process of thinking, oh, I quite fancy writing a string quartet at some point, and then s and someone will then say, um, we'll do it. And then, you, you know, I, I th it sort of does usually come from me. It has, it's, it's really like um, scattering seeds on the ground or something, if it, if it falls on. Yeah, but if, the, if the idea is sort of there really already, uh, it, will, it will work. Probably, that, that was, the, I mean, it was Polaris, good case. Point, which, of course, the Gulbenkian Foundation was uh, one of the commissioning partners yes. for Polaris. Yes, yes. Uh, that was, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's very difficult because, it, 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 of course, it's wonderful. It's a dream for a composer to have a big uh, orchestra come and say we want, but it's happened to me in the past that I, they've said that, and I, I thought, there isn't an orchestral piece at the moment. I just don't have one, and I can't, I can't you know, just sort of magic one out of, I mean, <laughs> I know that's, that's what I'm doing anyway, but it's not, it's much more organic, really. So, it, but it, if there are enough, 
good idea, uh, good uh, uh, offers, but something will probably hit a button. So <laughs> it's already there. 